So, do you fancy yourself as a bit of a provider within your family? Or, or maybe it's not that, maybe you just enjoy a great day out and creating great experiences. Well, if that's you, I might have a boat for you to look at today. My name's Dan Jones, welcome to The Boat Brokerage, and today I'm on a 28 Axapar T-top, but I've, I've renamed this boat the Axapar 28 Fish. Sold this boat new to the current owner, and he went berserk, kidding this out to go fishing for kingfish. He's an offshore fisherman, loves to get out there, but he wanted to do it in comfort, and he wanted to find a hull that would get him out there at speed and in comfort. And the Axapar was certainly that. Um, so yeah, this is the walkthrough part of the video. If you've come from the test drive uh, video, which is separate to this, welcome. Or if you're interested in a test drive, follow the link in the description below and you can check that out as well. Um, I'm just gonna start at the back of the boat and show you everything I can. Um, before I do that, I'm just going to flip my little thingamy bop around so I get out of the picture and you can see a little bit more. Look at this. What a cracking day. I'm just here at uh, Cremorne Point, tucked in around the corner. It's been a wonderful sunrise. The ocean is starting to clear, getting back to a resemblance of blue. We're not there yet. We've had about six weeks of biblical bloody rain. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Um, so starting at the back of the boat, this is a Series 2 28 Axapar. Um, this whole setup here is a custom prep station. As you can see, um, everything drains here and just drains out uh, this side just here. We've got rod holders, one, two, three, and it has been designed in such a way, let's get in here, that the whole thing will uh, fold forward when not in use. So you can just undo these two clips here and here. It folds forward, which allows the engine to trim up and get out of the way. Um, we've got some more rod holders. These ones are removable, as you'll see. One, two, three here, and one, two, three just there. Like all Axapars, it does have a telescopic swim ladder, uh, which is on port on this one. There you go. A stainless steel st telescopic swim ladder. Uh, little grab handle just there. It's got the 350 horsepower Mercury. Super low hours on this one. Um, as we come aboard, We've got the rub rail that goes all the way around the side. They uh, increased the size of that for these Series 2s, which was great. We've got the stainless steel cleats. We've got six of those dotted away uh, all the way around the boat. And this beautiful stainless steel grab hold. On the port side, we've got this fender locker here. This is for fenders. You can see a manual bilge pump. It does have electric with float switches as well. Um, in here is a custom deck wash. So there you go, you can hose the decks when you've been fishing and you operate it with your deck wash pump just there. And here is your swim shower. So once you've been for a swim, logically, port side with a swim ladder just there, that's where you wash yourself off. Got some fusion speakers there and there. Um, this is not the cabin version. So as you can see, this is all a workable deck space. Um, and underneath we have a large storage locker. So this would be great, you know, if you're not in fishing mode and you're in family mode, this would be great to store um, those big uh, floaty foam mat things. Um, so yeah, that's that's a, a good spot for it there. Few more Rocket Law rod holders um, just stored below here and you can see his fishing net as well. Okay, I'll just close that up. It's always interesting doing everything with one hand. Now on starboard, we have the fender locker mirroring like we had on port, but this one, see these holes just here and here? That correlates to live bait pump. So this one has been customized. You had this little um, seal or lip just added just there. So, and then you can see a drain out there. So he can throw his catch just in here. So isn't that cool? Um, this is for one of those things, I think it's one of those electric, you know, you put your, it, it hauls stuff up up the bottom. I'm not a fisherman. I like to order and eat fish. So if it sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about when I point to this piece of kit, it's because I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, fire extinguisher, just there. 
fuel in just here 300 litre capacity on this one now one of the other cool things about this particular layout is because you don't have the cabin underneath here you have the, the wonderful under deck storage so if you're a bit of a water sports uh, person this is a great layout to have so if you want to have wakeboards if you want to have skis if you want to have the the foam matty things if you want to do your fishing if you're a real activities person you might prefer this layout as opposed to putting those sorts of things downstairs in a cabin on a mattress where they might be wet um, and obviously it gives you more space to work with but then you also have this area here so it's currently full of my bags and other equipment but this is a great place for covers there's batteries down here this has been set up with an independent battery system plus a solar panel so you've got batteries for the motor house batteries you're never going to run out of power this boat does live on a swing mooring so it always trickle charges and uh and you're good to go uh, now just moving up there's your trickle charge for the solar panel just there and oh what do we see more rod holders i can't imagine what this would look like when you're belting along with all these holders full because it's just going to be rods everywhere but i suppose that's what you're going for when you're a fisherman but we see the 4g simrad radar we've got the spotlight forward facing and electrically adjustable on the mast the uh anchor light all around anchor light vhf and then an aft floodlight so that's an led flood just there which is going to illuminate this area and obviously at the prep station when you're doing some work at night it's kind of sensible we've got the little mood lights they're the blue ones dotted all the way around the boat which is going to illuminate the floor blue and this is the gray upholstery that's silver tex moving into the center of boat uh, center of the boat we will angle these seats forward okay so these undo these seats this one has just been set up as the esky it's not the electronic fridge and then i can't remember what's underneath this one or whether it was just left there we go so this one does have a little sink so you can wash your hands just there so this layout it's really sensible these boats you know when you've got uh, when you're doing a social day or any day for that matter people are always going to jump on uh, with bags with wallets with keys with phones all that sort of stuff and Axapar have definitely thought about that so um, with this layout you can put a lot of the bags and things underneath the seat just here you can put some more up in the head and then there's more storage up in the bow which we'll see when we get there and obviously there's that underfloor storage for dirty stuff or wet stuff but you also you're going to have your phones and you don't want to put your phones downstairs do you and you and you know women are going to have their handbags and all that sort of stuff so this cockpit is really great for all of that so you can pull your phones out put them in here and you've got a charging spot hey presto so isn't that smart you've got a good spot for your coffee cups um for beers, it's really only going to be a tinny. It's not going to be uh, any big bottles because those holders uh, are not super wide. But then you've got more, I'll get out of this shot, you've got more storage along the sides here and here for little knickknacks so people can empty their pockets and put them in sensible places. And the people on the back seat haven't been forgotten about either because you've got storage for little items there and there. So, you know, the drinks can all be put in place. You load the thing up with ice. Everybody have the things that they are going to need and use for the day. Um, and then put your bags under the aft seat. And we're all here in shade. I might add this back seat, the shade extends aft of the seat line just here. So everybody has the ability to be out of the weather. And then this beautiful wraparound windscreen. Yes, it does hinder the skipper's access to the side decks when you're parking, but these are just such wonderful and easy boats to park, it doesn't matter. And you are warm at all times. You know, summer's just ended for us, winter's on the way. So when you do get that sort of uh, early morning chill, you know, you're gonna be out doing the early mornings on a boat like this, you're gonna be comfortable because you're completely out of the wind. Your mates in the back seat, not so much, but who cares, they're not paying for it. So anyway, Let's go through some of the equipment we see here at the helm because it's quite extensive. More speakers before I get there. We've got a EPIRB just there. Um, electronic digital throttle. This is the ergonomic setup for Mercury. They're great. This is the spotlight control just here. This is the active trim. Um, I personally think it's a bit useless on Axapars because these hulls are so wonderful that you don't need to be trimming the engine up and down all the time. I really only trim the engine up when I'm at full speed, but hey, it's there. So if you want to use it, switch it on. This 
is really interesting to talk about. Obviously, being a fisherman, he put a bee's knees um, uh, sounder on the bottom, and we've got a uh, structure. Uh, I, I don't exactly know the, the technical name, so I'm going to have to delve into it and put that into the, into the inventory, which will be downloadable on my website. But this thing here is super cool. So as, as you can see, I'm just at, at anchor at the moment, but this gives you a 3D picture of the bottom. So wonderful when you're anchoring, awesome obviously when you're, fi you're fishing, you, you literally see what's down there. Yeah, me being me, I just immediately thought, wow, I could hunt for submarines on that. So. Um, it's super amazing. You got your traditional uh, uh, depth um, just on this side, but you can also cycle through. So um, all these Simrad displays have got this uh, basic menu back here, but most people only just have them plugged into a chart plotter and not much else. But this one, yes, we've got the chart plotter. Yes, we got the echo sounder. Yes, we also have the structure. And yes, we have the radar. So, so we really do have like an incredible amount of information. We can obviously go through our, in, our, our instruments and more displays, but you could do split screen on one, remembering we've got the dual screens and have the structure on the other. So you could have, look at that, it's all there. So it's really, really useful if you are a serious fisherman. Um, Panel lights, bilge pumps, window wash wiper, searchlight, horn, underwater lights, deck lights, interior lights, anchor light, navigation light. Um, on this side, this is just uh, going to give us information about the power coming in through the solar panel and also where our batteries are at, should we wish. Bow thruster just here. Tr uh, tr uh, trim, ta uh, trim tabs, sorry I'm losing my words this morning and the stress-free anchor windlass, which is the biggest bloody anchor windlass I've seen on a 28 axe apart in my life. So we'll see that when we get up to the bow. Simrad VHF, Fusion Stereo, which will Bluetooth to your phone. And there are covers, which enclose this whole cockpit area here. Plus, it's not the silly North Sails top. This is a good Sunbrella material. Uh, actually, it's not even, it's more, it's, it's, uh, I feel like it's stronger than Sunbrella material, but I don't know exactly what that is. Okay, making our way forward. The boat's um, freshly polished and anti-fouled. Uh, they finished yesterday. I picked it up from the marina just yesterday. Um, the windscreen, as I mentioned, it's the, the Series 2 style. So um, the, you only have this little, little pillar here, so it doesn't negatively affect your visibility. Um, up in the bow, we've got another drink holder. Drink holder here. This lounge area, it's good for probably no more than four people. I'll just sit down and give you some perspective. Oh yeah, happy days. So this is good. Um, these are really comfortable. In summer, this color does get a little bit hot, uh, to be fair. So you might burn your bum uh, if you're in your, your budgie smugglers, but it does have the, um, the sunshade with the stainless steel poles. So if you kept it in shade or you put a towel down, um, your butt cheeks are gonna be all right. Um, but just making our way around the bow here. So all of that is stored just below. I can probably just lift that up and show you. We've got the lunch table, we've got the cushion, so this can all turn into a sun lounge. And then we've got boat hook, the poles, the table legs, and the sunshade as well, plus the shore power on this one. So this whole area can be turned into a lounging and a relaxation zone. But I do want to point out this windlass because it is pretty cool. So that's the setup just there. Beautiful stainless steel drum windlass, stress-free. I think they're from WA. Nice big bow roller just there and a Rocknar anchor. You know, one of those ones that um, uh, it's got the bar across the top like that. So it always finds the mud and digs in. Navigation lights, there's your bow cleats. This, that's where the sunshade goes in just there. This uh, little deck hatch just here, it's not really for storage. It's just access to the bow thruster. And this is the base just here for the table um, or if you've got it in sun lounge mode, that's the supports there. That's the horn just there. And here's the loop. Beautiful, spacious, private. You got a window, you got lights, you got three hooks just there. I like uh, using this area for a safety grab bag personally. So if you get pulled over by the cops, you can just whip that out and not waste anyone's time. And then you got a little just cold water sink 
um, just on that side. You got access under the sink, and this window, oh not window, this mirror pulls. Uh, that pulls out so you can get behind the helm and access all the electronics. And then you also have, this one's got an electric loo, and then you've got the holding tank indicator there as well. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, you know, like all boats, I'm trying to do this on more of my videos. It's not perfect. There are areas that you could uh, criticize the boat. And it's most, mostly just minor wear and tear. So I'll, I'll point that out right now. Um, you're just losing a little bit of paint here and here. Um, these windscreen wipers uh, are looking a little bit dodgy and rusty, just there and there. Um, this bow lounge has suffered a little bit of wearing, no tears, but you can see a little bit of sun damage. And then there's just a few areas of usage indicated see they've obviously just clipped a dock just here coming in i know the owner's house is uh quite wave exposed so he's he's must have clipped a dock at some time um obviously there's going to be more things I, I haven't noticed much else apart from that the boat runs and looks beautiful um but like all boats i can't say it's brand new and perfect because it's not um but in my opinion it's pretty darn close anyway if you are looking for the ultimate Axapar 28 fish, if you've got fishing in mind, but like a whole collection of other activities as well, you need to give this boat some serious consideration. My name's Dan Jones. This has been The Boat Brokerage. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.